So once we set up the React Auto DOM, so now we will start creating the uh, add user form. So for that, just click onto this add user. So instead of this add user form, so we will just actually create the uh, add user form. So for that, just go into this add user.jsx. So here, let's create a uh, add user. So just type add user.css as well. And inside this uh, add user.jsx, so let's start writing the code. So let me just clear this and just inside here. So let me just create a div and just give the class name something called add user. And inside here, so we just have to first of all create a uh, heading. So you can just give the heading something like add new user. So you can see the add a new user. So we will later uh, do the styling part. So first of all, let's create a uh, basic HTML form here. So inside here, so just create a form and just give the class name something called add user form. And similarly inside here, let's create a uh, in input group. So just type uh, div class name and just give the name something like input group. So just give input group and inside here. So let's give a label for name. So we will be basically uh, adding the three uh, components, the name, uh, address and email. So just type label HTML for uh, name and just give name. So now let's uh, make our input tag. So just type input and the type will be so you can just simply close like this and just type uh, type will be the text and so we can just give the id name and just give the name and the name will be name and you can just give the autocomplete off as well so that it won't autocomplete automatically and you can just give the placeholder something like enter your name and if I just save so you can see so the add new user and the name and you can see uh, enter your name so just like this name so you can just simply copy from here to so you can just simply copy from this input group to div and just and simply paste twice and instead of this name so we just have to uh, set it uh, email so just type email and the type will be email, the ID will be email, and the name also will be email, and just type enter your email. So you can see, enter your email, and similarly, so we just want to type the address as well, so just type HTML for address, and the type of text will be the text, and the ID will be uh, address, and the name will be address, and here you can just simply type address here so just type that so you can see so this is looking fine here so once this is done so we just have to add the uh, summit button as well so just type uh, so just type div and we'll just give the class name input group for this as well so just type input group and inside here so we'll just copy the icon or button from here so just simply copy this primary so let me just copy here and you can just say something like submit and if i just save here and go here you can see the submit button is also displaying here so once this is done so let me just style this add user form so for that we just have to simply import the add user.css here so just type import uh, and just type dot add user dot css so now for styling, so let me just simply go into this add user.css. So inside here, so first of all, so let's start by styling from this uh, add user form. So just type dot add user. And first of all, let's give the background color something like white. So the background color white. And so we just want to give the width 25% only. So just type width 25%. And so you can see the width is 25% now and let's give the margin so the margin let's give margin and the top and bottom so you can just give something like 20 pixel and left and right you can just give uh, auto yeah here you can see the top and bottom is for 50 pixel and so this has automatically adjusted the uh, left and right margin 
so similarly let's give the padding as well so just give the padding 40 pixel so you can see the padding has already been applied and similarly so we can just keep the border radius as well so just give the border radius something like 5 pixel so you can see so this has made some rounded changes here and similarly so we can just give the shadow as well so you can just give the box shadow something like uh, one pixel one pixel and also eight pixel here so just give eight pixel and just give the color and the color is basically so zero 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 and zero point zero six five so now you can see there's uh, some shadow effect as well in the background so once this is done so now we just have to um, style the input group so the input group is uh, inside the uh, add user form so you can see uh, this add user form and input group so let me just style this input group so for that just type dot so here just type dot add user form and just type dot so which is inside this add user form so just copy this input group so just type input group so first of all so we will just give so this is basically an input group so we just want to give the width something like 100 percent so we just want to arrange the elements in column layout so for that just give the display flex and similarly so the flex direction so the flex direction will be column so here you can see so now this is looking a little bit better and so once this is done so now we just have to give the uh, styling for label so the label is basically this one so we just want to give the uh, margin top so just give the margin top of this uh, label a little bit like 10 pixel so you can just say the same thing so let me just copy this input group and user form so the label is inside that so just type label and you can just give the margin bottom or top so you can just give 5 pixel so you can see now there's some gaps mm, i think the margin top will be better so let's give margin top so now it is looking a little bit better so similarly so we just want to give the styling for input as well so similarly let's paste the user form input group and the input is inside the add user form input group and there is input so just type input and inside this input so just type margin bottom so just give the margin bottom something like uh, 5 pixel so 5 pixel and similarly so you can just give the padding something like 10 pixel so now it is looking quite better here and now so we just have to style for uh, the s3 so this one add new user so the add user s3 is basically inside the add user and this s3 so just simply type dot add user and just type s3 and inside here so first of all so let's give the margin top 30 pixel because we will be adding one more button here so just type margin top 30 pixel and here so we will add the button so first of all let's add the button so for that go here and so we will be basically adding this secondary one so let's go inside add user and simply uh, add inside this uh, add user so just paste it inside here so you can see so now we will just uh, say something like back and here so we will also add the font awesome icon so we will just type uh, backward so just type backward so we'll just put this icon so just copy this and go inside here so just simply paste here and now if i just go into full stack so you can see so this is looking better so let's give some space here so just give a space so now this is looking better and instead of this button so we just have to type link to so we just want it to go into this uh, home page so just give slash so now it should look better so if i just click onto this back button so this should redirect us to this one and if i just click onto this uh, add user so this should uh, redirect us to this form so now let's do styling for this s3 the heading one 
So let's go into this uh, add user.css. So here we have already given the margin top 30 pixel. So let's give the text alignment center. So this is in the center now. So similarly, so let's uh, give the font weight. So just keep font weight bold. So this is looking a little bit uh, better now. And similarly, so we just have to give the color as well. So just give the color something like dark cyan. So the color is dark cyan. And similarly, so let's transform this into the uppercase. So just type something like tricks transform. So you can just give the uppercase. And similarly, so we just have to uh, give the shadow as well. So you can just simply uh, copy this box shadow from here. So just type box shadow from here and simply paste it inside here. So instead of this box, so we can just replace this with the text shadow. And here, so instead of this 8 pixels, just keep 2 pixel. And instead of this 0 0.065, you can just keep 0 0.7. And now it should look uh, better now. So you can see add new user with the uh, beautiful looking uh, shadow and the color here. And similarly, so let's keep some margin top of this uh, submit button. So for that, let me again go here. And the button is basically inside the input group. So let me just go into this add user.css. So let me just copy this. And so instead of this uh, input, so just type button and just give the margin or margin top something like five pixel. And now you can see, so this is looking a little bit better here. Or you can just keep uh, something like eight pixel. So now this is looking better. So we have completed the uh, add user form as well. So now we will be working on how you can just send the data from this add user form data database.